Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes perfect for anyone who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. The classes are ad-free, their new classes launch weekly, and the entire catalog is available with subtitles in English, Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. So what are you waiting for? Are you in an artsy mood? You can try. Anyone can watercolor the basics for creating magical pieces by Yasmina Creates, or maybe you want to fine tune your editing skills. Try soft skills for video editors, keys to a successful editing career by Basil Gerard. If you'd like to give Skillshare a try, the first 1,000 people who click the link below and use my code will get a month of Skillshare for free, so you have nothing to lose. There's literally thousands of classes across hundreds of topics. There's something there for everyone. So again, if you'd like to try Skillshare for free, click that link, link down below in my description. Use my code and you will get a month of Skillshare for free. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and we are now talking about all the series that I do not plan to continue. Um, a few weeks ago, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, I did all the series that I'm in the middle of and even in that video, I missed <laughs> some of the series I'm in the middle of. But there were, I mentioned that there were other series that I definitely wasn't going to continue. Now, I don't think I have enough of series for ones I'm unsure about continuing. So some of those might pop up on this list because some I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, without further ado. So first that I wrote on my list is sadly Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Don't come for me. I, when I finished Legendborn at first, I was like, okay, I'm gonna read the next one to give it a chance. But the longer that I, the, the more space that's been between me finishing the book, I just am like, do I really want to? Because so much irked me about it. And then hearing other people who didn't enjoy it and their reasons, I'm like, yep, 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 didn't like that either. So like, why continue? I can't stand Cell. It seems like he's going to be the love interest. There's not much I enjoyed about the book. And I also don't like the cover. Um, I don't feel like she looks the same like she did in the first book where she looked incredible. So I just, and everything on this list, of course, never say never, right? But I just do not have, and I don't have any plan to continue on with that series, but I hope for the fans of it that they love it and they get what they, you know, want. I'm happy for y'all. It just did not work for me. Then Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. So I read the first one, was it last year? 2020? Whatever. I read it and I was really enjoying it. And then I kind of, I was like, oh, all right, this is getting a little long. Finished it. I think I gave it three stars. Like it's a it's a decent beginning, um, but it did need some more like character development and needed some more like editing down to me. And I, at that time again, was like, I'm gonna read the next one. And then I'm like, and the second one came out and I was like, do I care? And the bigger question is, do I remember anything? And it was a no and it was like, so in this instant when I'm like, do I remember anything or do I remember enough to feel comfortable to go into the next book? The question then is, do I want to reread it? And a lot of books is like, yes, I do, because it's just been a while since that first book came out. And in this one, I was like, no, I don't. So I was like, there's no need for me to continue. I'm not rereading. And I feel like if I go into the next one, I won't, won't know what's going on. So I'm not gonna waste my time. I hope there are people that are enjoying that series, but yeah, I had to let that go. What was the first one called? I can't even remember the name of this series. I wrote it down as the Dreamer series, Ronin series. So I don't know if it's just called the Dreamer series whatever that first book was that I read. I just know that Maggles is not for me. Her writing is not for I. It's very pretentious and I just do not jive with it. I love Ronan and Adam and I really wanted to like that book because I love them so much, but it just was not working. It wasn't just Ronan and Adam. There were all these other people thrown in that I didn't care for because had it been just Ronan and Adam, I probably could have like gotten through it just to get more of them, but it it wasn't. And so I'm like, I'm not continuing this. And me and Maggles just, we're not friends in that time. So the Locked Tomb series, which is Gideon the Ninth and Harrow the Ninth and whatever else the Ninth. Man, I wanted to like this book. I wanted to be in the Cool Kids Club. I heard it was so unique strange, weird, different, and it is very distinct writing style uh, Tamsin Muir has. And you know, the tagline that everyone shares is lesbian necromancers in space. And I mean, kind of, but kind of not. There's just so much going on in that story. And I just was like, what? <laughs> and I finished and I was like, do I go to the next one? And so many people were like, mm -mm, 
Mm -mm. If you were confused now, it's, it's not gonna get any better. So I just had to, I had to sit with that because sometimes you want to be in that club and you just can't get in. So I'm just from the, I'm just hating from outside the club, and I just gotta, I gotta come to terms with getting a knife that's not for me. So y'all enjoy that journey. For some reason, I still have this book on my shelf, so I definitely need to unhaul it because I read this so long ago, and I know another one came out. But it's Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. And when this came out, I mean, everyone I remember, um, I feel like on booktube and bookstagram, we're talking about it and loving it five stars. Oh my god, it's the best fantasy I've read in a long time. It's hilarious. It's different. And I was like, Oh, okay, I got it. And I did not laugh that much. I was kind of bored. And I felt so bad like I did there were moments and I like the premise of these like old dudes who used to be fighters and now you know they're living their quiet lives coming back bringing the group back together one more time to save one of their daughters and going on this adventure um, because you know you do normally get really young characters and so I was like oh this is a really cool premise but I just for the most part was like hmm, mm -hmm. And sometimes I would get a little <laughs> But people were like, oh my god, I was just a hee 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 And I did not get those hee hee hees. So it is not for me. I know Bloody Rose, I think, came out, which was about the daughter. I feel like there was supposed to be more. I'm not sure. So I don't know if it's just a duology, but I'm not going to read the next one, even though I like the covers. Um, and I'm glad for everyone who got laughs. But I didn't. So again, I'm outside the club. I can't get in. It's very upsetting to me and my homegirls. A Discovery of Witches by Deb Deborah Harkness, I think. I read the first one and I liked it well enough, but I did think it was a bit too long. And I mean, it really kind of is like adult Twilight. It's really insta-love, she's a witch, he's a vampire, but she also is like a scholar, like she's studying at Oxford. And uh, obviously he's a hundreds of year old vampire. Um, so I was like, okay. I maybe gave it like a 3.5. I was like interested to continue. And the second one, I can't remember what it's called. I tried to read physically and I was like, I can't do this. I tried to read the audio and I was like, I can't do this. I was just so bored. It is obvious that she did her research. Like I'm so happy for her and proud that she did that. But like, man, we did not need all of it. Like some of that you just keep in your notes. We did not need all of it because um, they're in a different place and time in the second one. And she was given she was giving us history and I was like but ma'am I did not come to this book for the history okay I came for the romance and she was just droning on and on about during this time and this person's doing this and this seamstress and I was like girl please so after yeah I was just like I thought about picking it back up I was like never mind there's, there's no points so I'm not gonna do that so not did not finish that one won't read the next one I think there's two more after that I watched the first season of the show wasn't that wild so I'm not watching that either so it's just not for me I just have to wash my hands of that I would love a good witch vampire story I have not found one yet if you know of any let me know Ooh, what's this author's name I wrote Mercy Thompson on here is it Patricia Briggs I started these ages ago as just like I think they made were they on Scrooge? They might have been audiobooks on script and I was just l looking for something to listen to while I was driving and I read a couple, two or three maybe, and I just, I don't have a good track record with like paranormal romance because she is like a, I don't know what they call her, but there's a lot of like werewolves around her, like werewolves and vampires and uh, like she can t talk to them or she's something, right? And I don't even know can you call it a paranormal romance because there really wasn't romance in the first two like there were hints but I wasn't getting enough of that and like the person I wanted her to be with I was like I don't know what she's gonna be with and so I just gave up after those first couple and I don't know how it progressed I know there's a lot of books in that series and maybe even a spinoff one the Alpha and Omega or something but I just I don't know I just I have yet to find the only like paranormal romance series that I guess I loved is also on this list but I don't love many like it's hard for me to get into them and it's sad because they usually are series that are very like long like they have a lot of books but I don't know it just didn't work for me. Another one Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward. Uh, I listened to again three or four of these and I just 
I don't know, there was something cringy almost about it, just like their alpha ways and um, I don't remember much about them. I know they're just like this group and all the books are follow an individual vampire in the group and like how they meet their person. Um, and I just stopped and I've never, never had a desire really to pick them back up. I know there's a bunch in that series. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, this one is a question one. And when I did my last unhaul, I had some books in there that I was like, I don't know, I kind of want to keep these, but I kind of want to get rid of them. Outlander was one of them. So I have the first book, Outlander. I have the second one, Dragonfly and Ember. Ember? 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 I don't even know where it's at. Well, it's probably right here, all these books that I'm supposed to unhaul and they're still in my house. And then I have like randomly the fifth one. So I have like the first, the second, like maybe the fifth one, whatever the red one is. And I have only read the first one and I keep being tempted to read the second one, but they're so long. They're so long. The words are so tiny. There's so many words on the page. And I was like, maybe I should borrow the audiobook. I don't know. I haven't even finished the first season of the show, but for some reason, I can never just get rid of it. So I'm like, that must be a sign that I do want to read it, right? But then I also read Outlander like in 2006, 17 maybe, and still haven't picked up the second one. So I'm like, do I really want to read it? But then when I try to get rid of it, I'm like, no, I can't. So like, what's going on up here? What, what's not clicking? I don't know. I don't know. So the villain series, I don't know if that's what it's called by V.E. Schwab. The first one is Vicious and then Vengeful came out. And then I've heard The Great Five, there's supposed to be a third one. I'm not sure if that's correct. I want no part of it. I loved Vicious so much and I thought it was a standalone. And then Vengeful came out, which I was excited for because I loved Vengeful vicious so much and I DNF'd it. Um, maybe I read 100 pages. I was just not feeling it and that I don't even know when that came out 2017 2018. I have not picked it back up like I still own it since then. And then if there's anything else, I don't know. I just felt like I got what I needed from vicious. I loved vicious perfection and I don't see any need to continue. Granted, you know, somebody's like, Oh my god, the next one is so amazing. But I heard a lot of mixed things on Vengeful and I just wasn't feeling it when I started. I didn't care about old girl who was the new uh, main character. So I was like, mm, I'm just gonna keep my memories. I'm just gonna keep vicious as my baby. And that's it. The rest. I have such a weird relationship with Victoria Schwab. It's so odd. Like some of these things I love and some I'm like, trash and I don't know it's so odd like I can never definitively say I love Victoria Schwab or I hate Victoria Schwab because it's just a book by a book basis you got any authors you like with that what do you have any authors like that that you're I don't know how to say this you know what I'm saying you know what I'm asking Red Rising I don't know what this series is called it's called Red Rising I don't know I don't care by Pierce Brown so I really only started this series because I thought Pierce Brown was hot Nowadays, he looks more like, like he's all right. Like he's more attractive than the average male author, but he gives me that fuckboy energy and I don't want that. Anyway, I read Red Rising and I was, it's only like what? It's less than 400 pages. And it felt so long to me. Like it felt like a slog. I felt like it was never gonna end. And I just, I was bored for most of it. And then some of it, I just was like, why? I did not love it. I did not love Darrow. I did I did enjoy Severo and I know that I think he has a bigger role going forward. And I had the original trilogy um, for years and then I never continued and I was like, whatever, I sold the next two books and then I know he's continued. And I go back and forth because I'm like, ooh, and then I'm like, no, and I'm like, ooh, then I'm like, no. And so I think it's just gonna be a no. It's just gonna be a no for me, dog. Like I, mm, because will I go back and read, read Red Rising because I would need to at this point? I don't think I wanna do that. So it's just gonna be, have to be a no. Oh, wow. So the Great Cities series, I don't know how many books, but it is The City We Became is the first one by N.K. Jemisin. Now I love Nora because she gave me the Broken Earth trilogy, which I adore and I still have to read her other work. But for that trilogy alone, I adore her. Incredible. The City We Became is very unique and very uniquely not for me because I did not enjoy that book at all. If I was not reading it, with people and reading it to discuss it on a podcast episode, I would have DNF that book after page one. Page one, I knew this was not gonna be for me. The voice, the, the style of the story, the whole like, 
avatars representing the boroughs of New York. I'm not from New York. I visited there a couple times, but as a, you know, as a tourist, I've been to Queens and Manhattan and I'm not like one of those New York obsessed people. I just did not like that book at all. At all. So I just saw and I'm very happy for people because they're very happy that the second book was released, like the title and the cover. And I'm like, for y'all, but not for me. I will be over here waiting for a different Nora work, whatever that's going to be outside of this. But that one, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I did not like it at all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Binti by Nydia Core 4. I read the first one and it's so silly because they're so short. Like I could read them, but I just don't want to. <laughs> That's it. I was like, I've heard about Binti so much and it to me was like, obviously it's a novella, but it just was like too short. And I just didn't, it, there wasn't enough for me to feel invested to continue to see what happens to the character. So I'm just not, I don't own them. So, oh, well, you know, who knows in the future, maybe from the library or something, but I just am like, ah, eh, I finished it and wasn't like, oh, I need to know what happens. I was like, oh, oh, you know, that was it. That was my only reaction. So like, why continue if I'm like, oh, huh, nah. The Imperium Trilogy by Claire Legrand. The first one is Furyborn, which I have such a weird relationship with when I read Furyborn first, I was like, oh my gosh, I really enjoyed this, which I was surprised because, you know, me and Y are hit or miss. The second one came out, was really excited. I didn't get it, <laughs> but people were saying it was so good, but it ended on a cliffhanger. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait. And the third book came out, I bought the second one, and then I went back to reread Furyborn and I didn't feel the same way. And so I was like, should I go and read the next one? And then I, I haven't. And I feel like that was two years ago. And I still haven't read the second one. And of course, not the third one. So I'm like, at this point, we just need to let it go. I don't know. It was really weird. I really enjoyed it the first time. And then I reread Fairyborn and I was like, this is getting on my nerves. Like I didn't hate it, but I still wasn't like, ooh, I finished this and now I can go into the second one. I don't remember what it was called. I think they're in my unhaul pile and I just need to let them go. Back to Victoria, A Darker Shade of Magic, which I feel like I've mentioned before, but I read uh, the first one, which I think is just A Darker Shade of Magic. And I think it was fine. It felt to me like it could have been a standalone. I thought the premise was really cool with the different colored Londons and Kel being whatever he is that can move between the Londons and his amazing uh, Technicolor dream coat. But Delilah Bard? Can't stand that hoe. She's so annoying. She, yeah, she really annoyed me. And then people told me that she was even more like the second one was really focused on her. And I started the second one and I was bored. I was like, no, I'm not having this. So I DNF'd it. I don't think I own those books anymore. I got rid of all of them. Yeah. I mean, Kel and his coat seemed cool. And then whoever else, I don't even remember anybody else's name besides Delilah and, and Kel. And I hated Delilah and Kel was fine. So it wasn't it. I know. And then I think she's continuing or like a, a spinoff or a follow up series after A Darker Shade of Magic, which is like great for the people. Not for me, obviously. Then the Mortal Instruments, and I've mentioned this before too, City of Bones, the first one, City of, City of, uh, whatever they are, City of Bones, City of Glass, City of Stuff. They're all City of something. Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I think that was her first series. And I think I got like their first I got them from Goodwill and I thought it was just a trilogy, which I was like, mm, these are fine. I don't really like Clary and I don't like Jace, but these are fine, it's finished. And then I looked it up and I was like, wait, there's three more. And I was like, no, this, no, this should have been done with this. I'm not continuing. And yeah, I've read follow up ones and I don't care. I don't need to waste my time on that. Like if I have a question, I'll just Google it. What happened in the book? But Clary and Jace were so annoying. And what's her friend, Simon? I thought he was cute, but like, I think her writing has gotten better. I won't say her writing is amazing, but I definitely think it has improved since the, the Mortal Instruments. But yeah, that I'm I'm good, never finishing. Well, okay, the Paranormal Romance series I mentioned earlier that I actually really liked was the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. However, comma, I read the first five and I loved them, obsessed. Jericho Barron's is my heart and soul. I then read the sixth one, which is from the point of view of Danny, who's a character who comes into the, the I forgot what book she comes into. 
and I hated it. Like I hated it. It was weird. There were some weird things going on with older men. She's very young. I think she's like 16. Is she 16? Younger? It, it was giving creep vibes and her POV was so annoying to be in and I just couldn't stand it. So I was like, I'm done. So Monet was recently reading them and I feel like she did, she definitely read the sixth one and then she read beyond that and she said to give it a chance because I think it goes back to like Max perspective. I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep reading those. Like I love the first five and I feel like I just want to stop there. So that's one where I'm like, not sure, but it's definitely not anytime soon. I would continue that if at all. I feel like books are still coming on this series. I'm not sure. I feel like there's at least 10 and I'm like, good grief. I don't know. I love the first, it's the first five, especially the fifth one. So yeah, I don't know. If you've read that series, let me know, but I definitely hated the sixth one so much. Danny gets on my nerves. Uh, Percy Jackson, I read the first three. I thought they were fine, but I did read them later in life. I didn't read them when I was young. I know some people like Mara read them as an adult, loves it. I found them boring. Yeah, I found them boring and I had, I bought the box set and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna finish because I own them. And then I was like, nah, I don't want to. So I didn't. I am interested in the new, is it a show or movie with Disney Plus? Uncle Rick seems like a, a nice man. So I will participate in watching that, but reading it, I'm good. And the only other Uncle Rick book I've, books I've read are the Kane Chronicles, which um, are with Sadie and Carter Kane and they are like Egyptian mythology based. And I also realized that I really don't love Greek mythology mythology and so that's Percy Jackson and um, some of the other spin-offs from that so I haven't read any of the spin-offs either and I'm just like I don't think I want to so um <clears throat> I was going down my Goodreads just checking different things and I didn't realize I knew there was a second book but then I think there's a third book and it's the I don't know what the series is called but the first book is You by Caroline Kepnes and like this doesn't need to be a series it's like apps I'm so confused how the tv show is still going I didn't even finish the first season I read the first book and I liked it enough and I was like, wow, you really got me siding with Joe. And then I there, saw there was another book and I'm like, no, that feels absurd. I don't want to read any more. This is one and done. And I just don't understand why there's more. So I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> Whew. Children of Blood and Bone. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, before, but I did. I was so excited, like so many people, so excited when Children of Blood and Bone was announced. And then the cover, I was like, oh my God. And then she got the movie deal, was so excited. And that book was disappointing. I gave it like a three, but like, I wasn't amazed. I was not amazed. And then the second book came out, which and I was like, you know, I, I'll give it a chance eventually. And I heard from people who love the first one, I heard so much badness, badness, so much negative things about it. It was delayed a couple times and then it came out and I think it was shorter than the first one. And people just, I, it was not getting good reviews. And I was like, you know what? Didn't already, I didn't love the first one. So I'm definitely not gonna love this one. And then I don't know if y'all are ever getting a third book. I hope for you that you do, but I just washed my hands of that. I'm like, I'll watch the movie eventually if it comes out. Um, happy for Tomi, but it's not, it's not for me, dog. The Zodiac Academy, which I read the first book recently and I thought it was terrible. And there's like seven books and maybe an eighth one coming out. Way too many of that it's terribly written and I will not be subjecting my eyeballs to that torture. No, thank you. So for now, those are the ones that I'm most likely not continuing. That list will probably keep growing because I love to try new series and then never finish them. So that's it for me. So let me know any series recently that you've decided you are not going to continue um, because life's too short. You know, like some people I feel bad for who are completionists and feel like they need to complete a series. Like, <laughs> couldn't be me. Although I do have that feeling sometimes, but like I don't have to. Sometimes I'm just convincing myself that I want to. So I don't know if that's any better. Hmm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey.